Alrighty, Hosses, welcome back. And in this video, definitely the coolest video yet, I'm gonna show you how to set this up on an actual server. So this server that I'm SSH into right now, I just bought on DigitalOcean, it was five bucks a month, and all it has is Ubuntu 14.04, and I think it came with LAMP, but you don't even need that. All you just need is regular old Ubuntu. And I chose Ubuntu 14.04 because it, because it comes with Python 3, and that's what I coded this in. <clears throat> and it really doesn't even matter that much where you stick your file, but what I'm gonna do is, here I'll show you guys what we're doing. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this server.py right there, and we're gonna plop it on our server, and then we're just gonna run it, and then we're just gonna be, that's it. We're just gonna listen for clients to connect. So, let me move into somewhere I'm not gonna mess anything up. And I'm getting kind of confused because <laughs> I keep having to switch between Unix commands and then Windows commands and they're all different. I don't know why they just don't standardize them, but whatever. All right, so right now in my main website, I have two files and these are just the files that it came with and that's just the default homepage and there's HTML and PHP version. So what I wanna do now is I wanna create this server.py file. So I'm gonna copy all this and you can use whatever editor you want. Oh, I don't, I'm as pseudo right now. So I'll just write nano server.py. And this is, if you don't know, just a text editor that you can use from the command line. So if you hit enter, it's gonna open up this and forgot it's different for every freaking thing how you paste in all right so once you do that just paste in all of your source code and there are alternative ways that you can do this as well but since we only have one file we can just paste it in and once it's pasted in just hold Control x y and enter so now what that did is it basically saved all that data to server.py and now we can verify that by writing cat server.py and this prints out all the data inside server.py. So we can validate that it did indeed work. So now, as you can see, we have that file on our server. Now to actually run this, you actually write Python 3. If you just write Python, it's gonna be 2.7 and then server.py. Now before I do this, if you guys don't even know the IP address of your server, then just type I have config, and then your IP address is gonna be right here. And you're gonna need this for the client. So let me just copy this now. And make sure you have that copied or you just write it down if you want. And now what you can do is this. So Python 3, server.py, hit enter. So now the script is on our server and it is running, it is listening and we don't even need this anymore. And let me make sure I got the right IP address. All right, so now check this out. Type in the IP address right here without the protocol. And now this is the program. And again, that's the only thing you have to change that's gonna be running on your client. So right now, the client's gonna be running. Again, they're probably not gonna have PyCharm. They're just gonna do this from wherever and check out what happens in here. Connection has been established, and I wanna go show you guys something real cool. All right, so again, this is SSH right into my server, so now if I just write DIR, and even though I'm on my server, I could be anywhere in the world, <laughs> you see what happened right there? It took it, and it ran it right in here. Now, I can basically control this computer anywhere. I can write echo hey, and you see it runs echo hey. I can even do something like um, echo sucker bacon.txt, and watch what happens. This actually creates a new file called bacon.txt on their computer right from there. And again, remember, since we fixed change directories, we can change directory. And then, I don't know, maybe we wanna look at the contents of there. 
but check it out. So we basically have full access to the target's machine using a reverse shell. Pretty stinking awesome. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take this and put it on GitHub. And if you guys wanna improve it or help me work on it on any way, you know, any way possible, maybe you wanna make it multi-threaded, who knows, then just send me a commit and then I'll review it. And you know, hopefully we'll get a good community reverse shell work. And so thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos. Hopefully you guys learned something. Stay protected from hackers. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.